My name is Mandy Strickland and I'm an archaeologist currently working in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. So this is my fourth summer working in the field here at the site called Cachil Kiwi and in particular the place where we're working is called Escalera al Cielo which means stairway to heaven in English. So the ancient Maya were definitely living up here. The interesting thing about Escalera al Cielo in particular is that it's not a part of the city center that we so typically associate with the ancient Maya. So we don't have a pyramid up here, but our site is associated with a particular pyramid. So today I'd like to think of it as something like a suburb. And this would have been a place where people with money, wealthy people in power, built their houses kind of out from the city. They had like a beautiful view, luxurious things to do, and they gained a lot of their money, we believe, from the agricultural production. The Puk region, or the hill country in English, is a very interesting part of Yucatan, located in the south. And although Yucatan is highly associated with cenotes or sinkholes with water, this part of the Yucatan is more elevated and older, so it doesn't have any permanent sources of water on the surface. But on the other hand, it has very deep soils, very useful, very productive for agriculture. So the Maya were taking advantage of these situations. They found ways to store rainwater and survive or live in a permanent way during the dry season. So one of the ways that they did this was to build these underground water systems. So in the middle of their patios, right in front of their houses, they would dig huge holes into the ground and lift out all of the rocks and all of the dirt from the hole, and then they would stucco the walls. And so it would make this very clean, large, basically a tank to keep the water in. It's called a choltoon. I think this was, in this case, they preferred to dig it here because they thought that they had more chance to be successful. This shows also that the Maya had a knowledge about where to drill a chultun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully today we'll get down a little bit deeper and we'll be able to see what they were throwing in there or what fell in there by accident or maybe nothing did. Maybe it was kept very clean. The only way to find out is to go down and get some dirt out of there. So this is interesting because the soil starts to change color. Those are all kind of things that we want to pay attention to. I feel like one of the dreams that we have for archaeology is this Indiana Jones type dream. Okay, so we're going to go out into the wild and we're going to find the Holy Grail or this lost gold and that sounds really exciting. And Honestly, maybe I thought something like that whenever I first started my, my archaeology career. But I think that now it's even something more special than what I thought it was. To me, archaeology is this thing where I can find a mound of rocks and over a series of a few weeks, we start to see a building grow out of this pile of rocks and slowly, through excavation, we're able to find out more and more about what was going on in ancient times. That's the goal of archaeology, is to understand more about human behavior. And working with my colleagues, the Maya people that are still around today, is really a way to connect that ancient past with the past that we are continuously creating on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué pasó? No pasa nada. Okay, right now we're in Yasha Chin, Yucatan. Yasha Chin is a very small pueblo. There are about 3,000 people that live here. Working in the field is extremely exhausting, and I think to myself every day, no, you don't want to go to Yasha Chin today because I'm so tired. But I come and this happens this thing where there's all these smiles and so much happiness and laughter and I'm completely and totally here for 
that at this point. Bueno, bueno. I'm an archaeologist, but first and foremost, I'm an anthropologist. And this is where I feel like I get to be an anthropologist. One of the things that Kiwi wants to help do and that we do when we come here is try to lessen that gap between ancient heritage and current heritage. Oh, okay, Ben. The link that that connects the ancient Maya with the contemporary Maya, with the children that I work with and that I play with and that I run with is the work that I do here with my co-workers. There are nine of them working with me and the other students that I work with. I don't think that it could work without having them here. I don't think that my love would exist in the same way if I weren't working with the very people that this heritage belongs to. In fact, I know that it wouldn't. <laughs>